Okay, guys, the last of today's games, Sweden against uh, Spain against uh, Sweden and Sweden, uh, Sp Spain, sorry, and Spain being um, 137 to win, which is which is quite low. Um, interesting uh, prediction on, on the market. But um, yeah, so Spain without Sergio Ramos, as we all know, um, first game in the tournament um, can be tricky. Uh, Sweden, you know, definitely not a joke. Um, you know, they are on a run of five wins in 2021. They defeated Georgia 1-0, then Kosovo 3-0, uh, Estonia 1-0, Finland 2-0, and Armenia 3-1. So, definitely uh, not conceding goals and, and a very solid team. Uh, Spain, on the other hand, yeah, they defeated Lithuania 4-0 very recently. They drew with Portugal 0-0. They defeated Kosovo as well 3-1. Uh, so Sweden defeated Kosovo 3-0, uh, Spain defeated them 3-1. They won with Georgia 1-2 and drew with Greece 1-1. And, <coughs> excuse me, and they last met in 2019, um, where they drew 1-1. Uh, and again, the market, uh, you know, is... Uh, no, actually, here... The market is expecting goals, but I I wouldn't be so sure. One eighty nine, um, I would rather think it will stay under uh, two point five goals. You know, with uh, Spain, you know, being a very good team and Sweden not conceding too many goals, I think you know that that can stay under two point five goals. I don't expect you know Spain to to demolish Sweden or anything, and. Uh, and um, yeah, any other home win, 6.2, I would even lay uh, this, uh, as, you know, I, I don't really expect um, the four goals scored by, uh, by Sweden. Um, I would start with uh, backing 1-1, one, one. you know, this was their last game and, uh, you know, can, 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 can end. Um, one one, uh, then uh, two nil and two one two one, um, definitely two nil being one of the most uh, popular uh, score, um, and to add to that, um, let me check the uh, the recent results for Spain. Um, yeah, I'm thinking of. Uh, yeah, I mean, laying at 6.4, if we go to that, I mean, that will leave us with a very high uh, liability here, right? So minus 50. Mm. Um, but it should be, should be okay. I don't, I may even go with that um, and, you know, build the trade around, you know, three backs and one lay. Um, I'm just thinking on whether to add anything. Yeah, I mean, one two for Sweden, not really. Um, nil one, the juicy price of thirty, but uh, no, I don't think that's um, that's possible. Okay, I will cancel the lay. I mean, the 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 liability is just uh, is is just too too big here. Mm, let me just go very quickly go back to this uh, to the stats okay um, and um, yeah I will go with I will go with three one that would be my, would be my fourth score. So this is this is how this would be my uh, starting position: one one, two nil, two one, and three one. And I'll again leave the fifth target score for uh, for later. Um, you know, Sweden should prevail; they, they they should win. But you know, I don't expect this game to be easy, and also I don't expect so many goals. Uh, we'll see how this one um, will end. 
but that would be my recommended starting position if you want you know to take more risk uh, or you know not back these scores and but just build a trade around laying any other home win i would recommend doing that i mean um you know i can't i personally can't see spain scoring two goals four goals today but uh, you know uh and this is uh, in the end your decision to make so thanks uh let me know how you approached this trade and uh stay green and best of luck